Matt Trauber is manager of Vintage Phoenix, the only comic book store in Bloomington and one of only a handful remaining in southern Indiana. Going back to the mid-90s, there was an artificial boom in the industry. From that point to now, there may be fewer shops, but overall, I believe they have more reach into communities. Along with mainstream titles, local artists have a place here as well. The local comic section is uh, a little section that I really like to support of local or at times people who have been local moved on but we still like to embrace them as local. We like to see creators working on the craft here in Bloomington and it doesn't have to be, they don't have to be in New York or Los Angeles or anywhere in particular these days. You can, you can make comics wherever, wherever you are. We met with one of those young artists, a senior at Bloomington High School North. I cannot remember a time I wasn't drawing. I drew like big scenes on the, the chalkboards in preschool. Comics are art, you know. You draw, you, you write. Writing is an art. It's two different arts put together. I, I do most of my work when I'm supposed to be doing other things. <laughs> Usually math. Another local artist on Vintage Phoenix shelves is Nate Powell. Nate Powell is a phenomenally talented writer and artist who we're lucky enough to have uh, here in Bloomington, who's produced Swallow Me Whole, um, which won the Eisner Award for Best Graphic Album, which is more or less like winning the Oscar for Best Picture. Like Levely, Nate started drawing early. This new best friend of mine, he was like, yeah, he's like, uh, hey, it's like, we should, uh, we should draw comics. The, the comics I was making when I was 14 and 13 were nothing more than, you know, guns and boobs, superhero adventures. And uh, when I was about, yeah, 19 or so, I was like, oh, wait a minute. And I discovered that it was, a, it was okay to tell stories about the things that are important to you without disguising them as some sort of adventure or power struggle. In general, my comics lean on the side of uh, impenetrably vague, artsy comics. In his home studio, Nate is working on his next major book. So this, this book is about living and growing up in a Reagan-era culture with its Reagan-era fantasy of glorified violence. The notion that you're, you're creating something new that's coming from within you but has its own life is something that you know, ideally you always strive for when you're making something. I think it's just the fact that you can tell a story and you can, you can get all of the, like, the characters out there and you can create, it's definitely that you can create life in a way. I thought I knew all sides of this creation, but the creation itself had, uh, had its own energy and in, an, in a way was making its own choices. That is what I aim for by telling stories with comics. Hoosier art lovers don't fear the comic book. There's a world of art and story to discover. Every day we have people come in for the first time, never read comics. Take a chance, you never know. <laughs>